and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is June and um, I'm ready to plan. I am a few days late and that is just because life. So um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I did want to show you and I don't know if this is something that I have shown prior, but I just realized that I did not tab it like I wanted to, but this is one of the ways that I used the extra pages in the monthly planner. I went ahead and did a list of our favorite meals. Like I said, I don't remember if I showed this and if I did, I'm sorry, but um, I did want to show that to you that that is another way that I went ahead and used the extra pages because I had been struggling a little bit and so um, I went ahead and tabbed it off using the Avery tabs and um, that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with June okay here is June as usual I have my little reminders if any on my pages and so I'm gonna take those off first so it looks like June might be a calm month from just the reminders, but I assure you it is going to be extremely busy. So not only am I going, it, not only is softball back for the month of June, um, which means that we're going to have a lot of games, but there's practices and they also do weightlifting. So those are the things that I'm going to be marking here. My oldest daughter also started working, so I'm going to add her schedule in so I know when she's working. And of course, there's just some other things that, you know, here and there for events. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is begin by putting in the monthly header and the dates with my tweezers being extra here but they really do help and I'm going to put down those I'm going to put down a few of the dates um, and then this is the other page that I'm going to be using these are, of course, Planner Kate. She is actually coming out with a brand new website. She still sells on Etsy, and I am assuming she will continue to sell on Etsy, but um, she, will be ha she will have her own website that I'll share with you when, it, when it's live. So I'm using her kit 329H1. That's this one, then 329H2 is that one. And then for the dashboard, which I'm also gonna set up, that is 329H3. And I am loving the pattern this month. I thought it was super cute, very summery, with the pineapples, the palm trees, and a hint of mermaid scales there. Thought that was very very cute so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and lay all of this down and I'll be back
Okay, so I am just loving this June color scheme and patterns. I'm just loving, I'm loving it. This was an excellent choice. And if you don't know, uh, I've been using Planner Kate stickers this year. She always comes out with two choices for the monthly spreads and um, dashboards. And so you always have a choice. I also already purchased July and I'm equally as in love with it as I am with June. So to get started, I am going to I think I'm going to start with I I've already checked my perpetual calendar and this comes from Erin Condren I love it and I fill in all of the important dates and so I've already checked and June is blank so nothing is going on in June and I've already put down Flag Day, Father's Day, and the day that summer technically begins, even though here in South Louisiana, it has felt like summer since, oh, I don't know, April, May at least. So we've been baking for quite a while. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my daughter's work schedule. As I said, she did get a job, and so I want to put that in. And what I did on the May, because she started working after I had planned for May. So what I did is every time she worked, I put, I had some of these, the little work stickers already, or I think I have a few of those. I don't know if I have any more to be honest. And when I ran out of those, I just used a plain label and then I took the little work that is on the side of the monthly the monthly stickers let's see oh here it is so there's work and i had a few left over from previous kits because i had never used them and what i do is when i finish a planner kate sheet i take off if they had like any of the outlining like you know, that kind of part of the sticker. And then I use the, just the back, and then I put all of my leftover stickers on one. So now I am actually up to two of these. Um, and these are just extras and I do utilize them often. So I'm really glad that I have this, um, all of my extras. the little work stickers and what I did was I took the stickers that are typically here that say work from home and I just cut off the from home part because I never used those and of course since I'd never used those prior I did not save them and so I don't have any extras but I will go through my stickers later on and see if I have any okay so looking at the next events um so for this week which is next week there is a summer softball camp that my oldest daughter is working but my youngest daughter is not going to be working it because she is actually um playing softball this summer with her sister so she is not going to be working the camp only because um, she has to do a math enrichment class that week so 
I am going to put down some washi here and then I'm going to put the event. So I'm going to actually have two different patterns of washi down. I usually put washi down here, but I think the color matched really well and I, I, I like the way that it looks so I didn't bother putting washi down there. So I am going to just put some washi here. One of the weeks is going to be for my daughter's softball camp and then the other week's going to be for my daughter's math enrichment class. So I'm going to lay those down. So it helps not having to write every day that there's something. And so then I just take, if I have anything extra, I just take it and I put it on my extra sheet. So this is going to be, if y'all could see all the notes I have over here. Okay, this is going to be softball camp. That's what, mm, that's what that washi is going to be for. And I need to see if I have any others that would match. I think I'm gonna use this one, but cut it down the middle. There we go, that'll, that'll work actually. Okay, and so this is going to be her math enrichment class. Okay, so that way when I look at the calendar, I will know that this particular line is for softball camp and then this particular line is for math enrichment because the two do overlap. Also during that week, believe it or not, there's more. So that week they have softball practice after the camp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put both of those in that will be for the same washi there. Okay, so during that, so also during that week on the 8th, and I do have my softball stickers, they have a game. Okay. And then I think that's it for that particular week. Oh no, I'm sorry. They do start weightlifting on the 10th. Okay. All right, so then the next week And then 
they have practice. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna put on the calendar, oh, and I always look back at my yearly thread just to see if there's anything going on, which there's nothing. So I've forgotten to do that. Um, okay, so I have my daughter's work schedule. I have the softball schedule and I have the camp and weightlifting and things like that. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put under my don't forget section. So the first thing that I don't want to forget is to finish paying bills. I usually do this at the beginning of the month. I have taken care of the ones that are already due, but I still have a few more that I need to finish setting up online. So I have that. I also want to do a VVA donation, which is for the Vietnam veterans. I want to do that this month. And I want to work on a meal plan now that we're in summer and I know things are kind of crazy but you know I have more time to to meal plan and cook so I'm gonna do that so that's all I'm gonna put under there and during the month if anything comes up I will um, add to that so this is the dashboard and what I've typically been doing is putting my YouTube projects under here. There are a lot of them in the works, believe me. But with summer, as much more time that we have. It's also kind of more difficult to get things filmed. So I am going to put that in and then under goals. Let's see. So my goals this month are to shred more paperwork. to read two to three books, which I'm kind of currently reading two right now. I'm still reading The Answer Is, which is the Alex Trebek autobiography. I don't read this every day, so it's taking me long, a long time to finish it. And I also started a new book, which I believe is Winter in Paradise, and it's by Ellen Hildebrand. And then I'll leave the third one because I'm into this book, so I know that I'll be adding another one, and then that will tick off my goal. I am, which I'm gonna put in my habits, but I think I'm gonna put in my goals as well, to exercise three to four times a week. I am actually, I have been doing very well with that. I downloaded the app Workout for Women and I absolutely love it. There's a ton of different um, programs. There's a ton of workouts. There are seven minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, 15, 20, longer, all kinds all types of different workouts. And I really, really love it. It's been easy for me to, to follow along. I'm just doing work on a program right now. And it's just, on. I use it on my iPad and it's wonderful. So I really have been doing well 
with the exercising. And I have also started taking some new vitamins. So I take some in the, some in the morning, some in the, after, in the evening. So I'm going to put that here. When I put in my habits, I'm going to put it separate from my medicine. Like I'm going to still put my medicine, but then I'm going to put my habits as well. So the Fly Lady Habit of the Month. And again, if you don't know Fly Lady, I will put her work, I will put her website in the description box, but it is flylady.net. And she has a website that has a lot on cleaning and organizing. And she has what's called a habit of the month for each month. And so I try to do that. And this one is to drink water. And I do drink a lot of water, but probably not enough. So I'm going to put that as my first habit. Um, my next one is going to be my med, my medicine. And then I'm going to do AM vitamin and then PM vitamin. I want to make sure I do those. Um, read, which I've been reading at night and then exercise. Like I said, I'm going to put it here as a goal and as a habit. And then the last thing I want to implement is having a clean kitchen at night. I'm going to leave these blank um, and do that off camera. So what I did moving away from my dashboard, so I think that's kind of done. I'm going to go ahead and put just a sticker here. I just kind of like to put a little sticker there from this book. And I think I'm going to put, oh, they're so cute. I'm going to put the little tropical drink, I think. It's just cute. And it kind of goes with that. So I'll put that there. Okay. So, you know, I've been struggling a lot with what to do with these extra pages. So what I've decided to do, one of the things I did was I tore out a few pages. I know that I was not using them. I knew that there was nothing in June that I wanted to put in. I have several here in the front that I've tabbed off. I was going to do a packing list for vacation and like a to-do list of what to do before and after you return from vacation. But we decided not to go anywhere this year for, for summer vacation. It's just kind of a crazy time. My daughter, like I said, started work and she really wants to work this summer and um, they just want to be home this summer. So we're going to stay home. We're not going to do a vacation. So I took a few of the pages out. And so I'm going to set up this page and this page as my shopping list and my packages that I'm waiting for, coupon codes. I'll do this as my Bible in a year page. And then I think I'm going to work on like a meal plan on this page. <laughs> it a little bit differently. I usually put the coupon codes on this side, but I figured I'd flip flop it. And if I had another idea of something to put here, I would have the room for it. So I just kind of flip flopped it there. Okay. So let's see, that's that. The only other thing 
that I'm going to add off camera is my husband's work schedule. And I, I have the little stickers for that with, because he works shift work, he works days, nights, or he's off. So I have those little stickers and I've shown them before in videos. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, you can look back at previous Plan With Me's and in some of them I showed what the stickers look like, but they're also from Planner Kate. So I kind of think this is gonna do it for June. I'm really, really loving and really happy with the way that this turned out. I'm loving the pineapples and the palm leaves, it's very summery. I really hope that I was able to give you some inspiration. I don't know if I did or not, but that is my goal. That's what I'm trying to do. I hope I get you a little bit organized, maybe give you some ideas on things to do. If you have any ideas on ways that I can use my blank pages, because of course I still have another half of a year left. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments or if there's any content that you'd like to see because I am in the process of planning those out, just please let me know and I will see you all soon. Oh, and if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is completely free. All you have to do is press the red subscribe button and you will be sub subscribed. If you click the bell notification, it will notify you when I post a new video. So thank you again for joining me. I really do appreciate it and I hope you all have a wonderful June and I will see you soon. Bye guys.